Hello everybody and uh, thank you for joining me for another recording of Total War Warhammer. Now, uh, like I said in one of the previous videos, not the last one, the one before it, um, we had some awesome 2v2 games between myself and Sigma and uh, we played some monster armies, uh, monster mash, or that was kind of the theme, and I wanted to see whether or not these armies would do okay in a one-on-one. -on -one. So I've already done for my 100th uh, 1v1 ranked game, I've already done uh, Sigma's Warriors of Chaos army, so I just wanted to give my Wood Elf army a bit of a swing. So for this army, guys, we basically have two squads of the, uh, sorry, I've got something stuck in my throat, of the Eternal God with shields right in the middle. We've got two squads of War Dancers, one on each flank, one of a day and one of a day. We then have three squads of Dry Hands, and I really, really like these guys. They're just badass, and they really want to just get in there and fight and kill stuff. For this army, I'm running the uh, Spell Singer of Life, and the reason why I run the Spell Singer of Life is so that I can make use of the regrowth sp Whoa, look at that. Uh, can I do it again? And, okay. Uh, it's basically just so I can make use of Earth Blood if necessary, but the regrowth spell is really what it's about because I want to cast an overcast regrowth on Forest Dragons. They already have a very good. Um, physical resistance because they are forest creature-y stuffy thingies, so they've got 20 and if you overcast it gives plus 44 so they can have a lot of um, physical resistance and then of course it, it heals them and these guys are pretty badass as is. The army then of course is joined by two Glade Guard and these two guys have the uh, Hackbane chips. Now I made a bit of a mistake, my opponent was a Dwarven player so these should have been the Starfire Shafts but <clears throat> I was so eager to just test the army for what it was I decided to leave them in. And then, of course, this army has two forest dragons that are just awesome. And the army is led by the Lady Glade Lord. I don't know whether or not... If I can find her, that would help. Right, so she's in there. Okay, she's on the little dragon <coughs> in there. And she's got um, pretty much everything. Arrow of Kurnas, the uh, Prey of Anath Rema, and uh, she's got a Potion of Toughness, and then all of the other stuff that she gets from the dragons. Now, like I said, our opponent was a Dwarven player. So let's see what he's got. So on the Dwarf player side, his army is led by a Rune Lord. Then he has on uh, this side, he's got a squad of Miners, uh, Dwarven Warriors, Dwarven warrior Ironbreakers, and then we've got the Grumbling Guard over here. On this side, so he's basically deployed a little bit flankish, so a little bit here, a little bit there. Uh, we've got two squads of the Dwarven Warriors, we've got a squad of Slayers, we've got two squads of Bugman's Rangers. Okay, so there is Bugman's Rangers, and these guys are, yeah, so they're all the same. Uh, he had two um, uh, gyrocopters. All right, which is not a bad decision. It's not necessarily the best decision, but it's not a bad decision, and they are the anti-infantry variation. Uh, and then he had a flame cannon, which is pretty badass against Wood Elves, typically. And he had a regular cannon. So not a bad army for taking on Wood Elves. So let's see what happened in this game, guys. So I'm going to follow from over here. Now let's just see. So the Wood Elf army immediately starts running forward. And you can see that the cannons are firing. And, uh, oh, okay. Oh. Oh, okay, that one missed. Okay, so two... Two of the cannons really hit very hard, and then two of the cannons didn't hit too hard, and we're approaching the flame cannon soon. So, what I wanted to do is, because I'm going to have a regrowth going off on the forest dragons, I kind of wanted to just fly over here and threaten a little bit, so I know that everything is going to target there, while I uh, cast the arrow over there. And then, of course, so the Bugman's Raider starts shooting, and the flame cannon starts shooting at the dragon, and then my plan actually was to literally just get hold of these guys first. So, if I could engage... Uh, just, you know, a little piece of his army first and then engage the rest of it. That would be fantastic. Over here you can see the poison arrows are going all over the place. So I'm trying to just focus fire on different squads while I'm busy with it. We've got a overcosted regrowth going off on the forest dragon over here. And you can see how quickly he just heals up both of the forest dragons going off to the rune lord. Over here you can see we uh, basically just waiting for him to engage properly. And then the rest of the army is going to start just moving into flanking positions. Over here the war dancers, they are just going to move forward a little bit. They're going to try and cut off whatever's coming around away from over there. The Glade Lord um, is going to start shooting at the Gyrocopters, uh, but unfortunately she doesn't do all that much damage to it, so it's not the best target, but you can see over here, okay, so finally he's starting to uh, move these guys forward, he is going to start engaging us in combat. The Rune Lord typically does very well, and you can see one of my Forest Dragons nearly broke uh, because of how well 
the uh, Grumbly Gorg and the Rune Lord was doing. Unfortunately for them though, the Forest Dragons are pretty mean when it comes to close combat, so they are fighting back and they are really beating down the Rune Lord. You can see over here the Glade Lord uh, was shooting at them, but I've now just base, uh, just decided for the uh, Glade Guard to just shooting at the Gyrocopters. It's going to take a while to kill them, it doesn't matter who I do it with, so I might as well use the Archers as I'm not using them right now. Firstly, secondly, um, they won't do too much of a difference and they can't do too much damage mostly just because they are the wrong ones. So the army here has now run up, they're trying to get in there. As they run up, I get the prey of Anath Rema on them so I can cut them off a little bit. And then we've got the forest dragons charging into the Buckman's Rangers so they're not really going to regroup anytime soon. And over here you can see we've caught the Morgan Warriors with the great weapons. Uh, and they are stuck out of combat, unfortunately for them. And then, yes, so it's the Gyrocopters versus the Glade Guard. And the Gyrocopters are not doing too damn bad, actually. Yeah, they're not doing too bad. And the Forest Dragons are pretty much just killing everything in their way. The uh, Glade Lord can now solo. I've basically just switched her to the melee <clears throat> stone, so she'll go into melee combat with him, and you can see over there she lands, she does the big charge over there. Uh, some of these dwarves have now started routing, so the Dwarven Warriors have routed, a lot of them are pulling back, uh, back to try and support their Bugman's Raiders over here, but unfortunately what else they do move really, really, really fast. You can see the Gyrocopters have, yeah, they've pretty much died to the Glaggorn right about now, um, and so yeah, it's not looking too good for the dwarves right now. They are re-engaging into the big mess over here. Uh, the Forest Dragons are still just having a heyday with whoever decides to charge into them. The uh, I'm wondering where are the Slayers? There was Slayers in this game. Eh? Oh, there they are. Okay, so um, the Slayers should have been brought in here, which would have made a big difference. All the Slayers should have been sent to save the Rune Lord, who just actually died to the Glad Lord. That would have made a big difference for them. And then, yeah, so we're just waiting for the Forest Dragons to finish over there. Over there. We've got these guys, these guys, we're just waiting for their morale to come back a little bit. It's over there. And uh, those guys were waiting a little bit too long. But the Glad God are shooting the Gyrocopters and they will kill them uh, pretty soon now. The Forest Dragons have decided to rather go after the cannons. And as you can see, uh, the Dwarves are running backwards. They're trying to support whatever they can. But unfortunately, these Wood Elves, they're just too fast and they do catch up with them. So, yes, that's it for the monster army of the Wood Elf side. I actually do enjoy this army, but I do feel a little bit guilty while playing it. I don't know, it just feels quite strong. And um, technically, it wasn't supposed to do all that well against the dwarves. Um, the the uh, Glad Garden that I took was the wrong ones. They didn't have armor piercing. War dancers don't have armor piercing. Uh, Dryads don't have armor piercing. So, not exactly the best army for this. But we were able to catch out um, half of the army. We were able to slow down a lot of the people before they could get into the combat. Um, the Slayers stood around for a little bit too long. If they uh, uh, moved and they engaged the Foreign Dragons, uh, things might have been different for them. Um, but again, you know, it is it is uh, how Warhammer goes sometimes. It's just, you know, the heat of the battle. You're trying to micromanage one thing. And before you know what's happening, everything else has spiraled out of control. This can definitely happen, and I think maybe that's just the situation over here. But again, pretty cool fight. Uh, GG to my opponent, he did pretty well. Um, the turn of the tape here, 24 kills on the uh, Glade Lord, 431, and you can see not too many on anybody. It's, we're facing dwarves, <laughs> uh, which did include iron breakers and those kinds of things. And but the forest dragons did pretty well, 45 and 32, and they also managed to knock down the rune lord until he was so low that he was running away. And then the glade lord managed to finish him off. The flame cannon did very well, as we would expect. Um, a lot of these um, units that I run basically have that forest spirit rule, which says that they have physical resistance, but they take more damage from fire. So a lot of them have it. We expected this to do pretty well. The cannon not doing too well. Uh, these two gyrocopters, for their cost, I think, uh, if we look at the amount of infantry we had, uh, yeah, they didn't perform up to standard Bugman's Raiders. I have no idea why they were in there. Um, Armbreaker's not bad. Rumbling Guard always do well. Uh, Slayers do surprisingly well when it comes to mass infantry armies. Uh, they're supposed to be anti-large, but they do really, really, really well against lots of lots of infantry. And that's it for this game. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Remember, if you do like the content on my channel, please subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Or just leave a comment, leave a like. That would be fantastic too. Guys, I'm going to see you for the next recording. Um, and they're actually going to... I've got two recordings releasing... Uh, I'm doing them today, they're releasing tomorrow, so by the time you look at this, it would have been last night, so I'm just going to say 
today. <laughs> All right, so I've got two recordings releasing today. One, this was my game that I played, and another one that was submitted by a subscriber. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching, and uh, bye.